Film Sensei here. Today, in this video, we are going to do this very super simple glowing sun effect. All right, so this is actually ridiculously easy. We're going to start by making a new composite shot and click OK. Now, I'm going to create a new plane and it's going to be a black plane and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to use this plane a couple of times. First I'm going to drag it into my project and I'm going to search for the fractal noise effect. I'm going to draw the fractal noise effect down to that plane, twirl it open and preset of star field. Right? And here I am going to rechange this and call it stars. Okay? So that's just my stars background. That's all I need that for. Now I'm going to drag in my new plane, and this is where I'm going to put my sun. So I'm going to rename it sun, and I hit F2 to rename that, by the way. I'm going to drag my fractal noise effect in again, but this time I'm going to use the preset solar. Solar, all right? Now all I have to do is find the sphere effect, and I'm going to drag that underneath the fractal noise effect, and poof! There's my sun, but it's not glowing a lot. Doesn't look very real. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of more effects. I'm going to start by adding a diffuse effect to it. That just sort of softens it, makes it look a little blurrier. Okay, maybe a little more opaque. And then I'm going to add a couple of glow effects. So I'm going to drag a glow effect on here. And what I want to do is, is I want to change a few of these. And you can kind of do this to taste. But what I found that I liked is an intensity of 2, a threshold of 60%, and then ramping the radius up to 250. Okay, so there's one glow. I'm going to add a second glow effect just to sort of brighten it up and, and make it a little bit more sun-like. But I'm not going to change it. Now, I know that Javar over at Inkscape Digital likes to do the triple glow effect. So, you know, we might add a third glow uh, and then make some adjustments to that. Maybe 0.4, you know, 20%, maybe drop this down to 40, uh, something like that, right? Uh, but I think in this case, I kind of like it without that third glow. I kind of like it with that third glow. Hey, you know, whatever works for you. Okay. So, you know, I know he likes to use that triple glow effect or technique. I, I think that's a pretty good idea. Right now, if I want to be able to move a camera around in here, right, then what I would do is, is I would take the sun and I would make it into a 3D plane. Of course, I would say, yes, I want to add the camera. Let me get rid of the crosshairs. Okay. But under the sun, under the control, uh, tab you want to open up the layer properties and say align towards the active camera so wherever the camera is wherever the camera's turning and stuff it will always be there right now also i would want to change the stars so that the stars move if the camera moves so what i would do is is i would find the 360 video viewer layer only but that kind of jacks up all the stars so i'm gonna have to make a few adjustments the first thing i'll do is knock the scale down to about 50 maybe the scale ratio down to 0.5 or so okay just enough to you know kind of put them back and it's sort of again to taste right so now if i were to uh say um keyframe the rotation of the x uh starting at say uh 35 and then maybe four seconds in or so. Uh, now I'm at zero, so it sort of pans in. I would want to make those smooth, of course. If I do a RAM preview, it would sort of look like this. And there you go. So this doesn't have to be a sun. I mean, it could be some kind of a glowing orb, uh, maybe a magical fireball or even a crystal ball. You could add flames and sparks to it or whatever, right? It's just sort of the base that you might use for some other kind of special effect. So in a nutshell, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.